and I've talked about uh, big and the big company in prior uh, reviews. You could check out a really good documentary on Marcel Beek on YouTube. He's basically the Henry Ford of the ballpoint pen. He took something that was more expensive before and instead of having to refill your pen, you just use it. When it runs out, you chuck it, get another one for cheap while emphasizing the quality. They did it again with lighters in 73 and again in 75 with the first one piece disposable razor. Before that, most people are using more expensive cartridge system shavers. And so that's why it's a classic, not because it's the greatest shave, but because it's the original one piece disposable. Being the beginning of something, that's why it's four out of four. And it, it gets the job done for the most part. Price point is cheap, even though it's not in the market in the US anymore, but you could buy it in bulk on eBay for, for fairly cheap. You could get like 10 bags for 15 bucks or something, you know, 10 bags of five. Uh, it's weakness lies in the dullness of the razor sometimes. Uh, you don't get the closer shave, and sometimes it's more of a tendency to get nicks and cuts and razor burn. But I think for a beginning shaver, you know, you're going in your teenage years and you don't have tons of facial hair. And you don't have a huge budget. Uh, big disposable is a good beginning razor and it doesn't put a big dent in your pocketbook. I used it when I, for a period I was going through them a lot when I first moved into a, uh, an apartment. with a John McEnroe ad. Um, they're basically uh, marketed as a for more sensitive skin. They're the only big single blades other than the metal that are still sold in the US. Um, I can't tell any discernible difference other than that um, it's orange. Uh, whether or not there's any difference, I think it's a possibility. I've heard that the angle, that w w the degree of the, that the blade is sharpened or the, the degree angle that the razor is positioned but uh i can't tell any, any difference the same quality uh but whereas if i give the original four to four stars i guess this is the original one piece because this is basically the same thing in my view uh changed to a gold changed to an orange handle and marketed as for sensitive skin it's the same thing recycled basically i give it three out of four stars it's the same quality it's just not the original and it's for more sensitive skin. I can't tell any discernible the difference for a quill pack for about five bucks. So it's a good price point. Like a lot of big products, we get the job done. Some of the same issues with it as the original. And just to address some people, I brought up that I sound different on my razor reviews than I do my, uh, the reviews where I'm eating. And I think it's because I 
it's a different side of me when I do shaving. So the different side of me speaks like this when I do shaving. And just I just started it that way, and I just kind of end up keeping with it. I just have a raspier voice when I do razor reviews. It doesn't make any sense per se. It's just a different side of me, and. Uh, That was the Bic Metal, uh, the last of the single blade Bics I'm uh, revisiting, uh, and um, the last of the single blade Bics that existed. I narrowed it down to, I think it came out in 1989. I believe I had that, I stated that before, and I believe that's right, it came out in 89. And it has an extra metal bar I showed to help straighten out the skin or stretch it or straighten it out before sh to help get a closer shave as i mentioned in a previous review i'll leave that up to you uh, whether that's just marketing but i think as far as quality i do think it's the best of the big single blades um i still get the original of the th three single blades four to four stars because the original and the second one i gave three this one i give three and a half um it's not the original one as the first one is but it's the, I think, the best overall quality. It's like an improvement over the first two, maybe even in some ways. It's very sleek, simple, black. The ridges on the side looks cool. It looks aesthetically pleasing, simple, classy. And with the metal bar, I do think, I feel like it gets a slightly closer shape, perhaps. And um, I've had less cuts and nicks in my experience with it than the other, the other two bigs than the other two bigs, but I, again, I give the original 4 to 4 because it's the original one piece, and the other one is just kind of a, the sense of kind of a reselling of the first one with a different color, I, more like marketing. This one with the metal bar, whether or not it really does something, I do feel it gets a slightly closer shave, less nicks, and I feel that it's a very sleek and just maybe a little heftier, a little, maybe an improvement in quality. So I gave it three and a half out of four stars.